Hey people, um, it's been a while. I posted a tutorial, I've done a tutorial on my channel. So I'm actually working on a program or on a project rather. And um, I, I'm building a website for your clients. Uh, it's just it's separate from um, my normal uh, networking uh, tutorial. So I, I encounter a, a little problem why trying to you know tidy up my work and uh, I, I feel like i want to I, I, I thought i should share it also because while i was researching online i couldn't actually get a video that will show me the step by step on how to go about it uh, but i was able to find uh, the, the solution to the problem from google so I want to do a video tutorial on it so that people can actually just look how I did it so that it can be useful for them and save them a lot of time. So let's step in. So this is the project I'm actually working on. I'm building a blog for a client, a blog post for a client. And this is, um, I'm done already though. It's just for me to put a Google AdSense and um, and um, link up the social media then this photo let me refresh this is the area i am having an issue with i'm trying to update my php i'm trying to remove uh, this this um default um this default um Powered by WordPress. I'm being a website. I'm being a website with a WordPress um, technology. So that's what I'm trying to do. So, but I'm trying to eliminate this guy so that it will only be the um, the customer's information that will be available. So now, um. But I'm finally for me to do that. I need to actually edit my PHP file. So to do that, we'll go to um our back end. We'll go to WP admin and include we'll follow this part. Okay, WP admin and close on. Um, when we get to file.php, from here we can actually edit whatever we want to edit from this area, okay, to this particular uh, information. So what I'm the, the error I'm getting is when I come here, if I go to ink, okay, drop down, I go to function.php, and um, I want to um it's loading just wait for me i want to remove I'm try, i want to remove um i want to remove this information so what i need to do is um i need to go to uh, is at the five line 549 line 549 okay here so I, want, I need to remove this this line that actually tells me that is from color mag and all the information so when i do that i leave the um i do that this column needs to be there this column just into the keep detailing the php language that i'm done with my configuration okay when i click on update I get error. I'm very sure it will bring the error. Just wait for it. Okay, this is the error I get. Blah 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 blah. Unable to get back from my website. Unable to communicate back with sites to check for fatal errors. So that so the PHP change was reverted. So because of that, my changes were reverted. It did not take any effect. That will revert back to the uh, default configuration of the PHP files. So how do we um, overcome this challenge? So what I did was that um, 
I'll go by I'll go to my back and I'm using a local server. I'm using a WAMP. I'm working on my PC. So what I do is I go back to my drive C. This is my server. I went to the ZAMP. Uh, this is my where my site is contained. Then I go to my site folder. Uh, I said I said that this is the directory I want to work on. WP admin include and file. So this is WP admin. This is include. And uh, when I scroll down, I will say file. Where is file here? File there you go. So I click. Uh, I don't want to use the brackets. I want to use a edit plus. This is not plus plus plus. So here. The, I think the guy that uh, um the the line where we are going to edit is five. I think I got I saw it from five five o two. Okay, here this line. So I need to change this line of code to something else. So I need to tell the 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 the, the line to not to respond to any other pen now if you just ignore whatever i want to update so that is why when you see uh, this file say so if this is what we have the if extension is active and php issue an extension okay i will change it to this information okay uh, you can see that it's false it means that they should not ignore whatever i want to do so when i copy this guy uh, I can use Control C and I come here, clean. I paste it and I save this uh, information here. Okay, I've have done that. Uh, I go back to my um, PHP file on my website and um, okay, I've removed the information. I just click update file now i should have goods okay now it said if i have been successfully updated so that is i've done this before so i had to revert everything i did so that i can just do a quick tutorial about it and share so if i should come here now and refresh the website okay um this guy will have gone okay there you go so this is all i want to achieve i don't want the second line to be there so thank you very much for your time i'm actually doing a tutorial on uh, uh, internet load balancing using two um, um service provider i will soon drop that tutorial is based on networking and micro attack configuration so i'll see you there Next time. Bye.